practice day for Moto Bike Car Club. Moto Car Bike Club. So this is Traveler's Rest Speedway in South Carolina. About to get run over by Ryan Dungey. And uh, here we go, we got Megan. Pretty good. We got practice going on right now, and I think the uh, the gang's definitely getting the hang of it. These drivers are out there. They got some good hot rods. I, I we'll show it. I feel like they're flexing. Like see, like Reed McGrath, they've done some driving, and I feel like they're already like I know what I'm doing. I'm not a bike guy. I know what I'm doing. I think they all feel pretty confident in their abilities. And I got to tell you, the surprise so far of the day, Ryan Dungey hasn't done much, and Justin Brayton right now has been a battle royale. I know. It's like a real race. Now, Brian Deegan has done a ton of driving in this day, but I didn't, I didn't see the number 10 go by. I know the cost. No, no, no. I think we wrapped it up. No, no. That was a clean pass. It was a clean pass. That was a clean pass by the 10. 10 fan like you. Yes, you know the that. 10. I appreciate that, Rob. So uh, we just completed practice here. Um, if you saw what these guys looked like about an hour and a half ago, it was a startling difference between where they are now. Uh, Brayton was pushing in every corner. Now he's sliding in every corner. Now they're starting to pass each other. And uh, I'll put the clip in here, but I had it on my Instagram. It only took about four laps for Reed and Carmichael to push each other so hard that they both spun. Because that's what these guys do when they race each other. There's a definite flex here. This is not obviously the thing that any of these guys truly do for a living, but there certainly is some experience when you look at McGrath and all the off-road truck racing he's done. Deegan, Chad's done a lot of car, car racing as well. Uh, you can definitely see them. Yeah, I'm good. I, I know what I'm doing. I, I, I've done this. I'm fine. And uh, I mean, these really in the realm of dirt track car racing, these aren't the fastest cars out there, no doubt about it. But I think it's enough for them to put on a show, we hope. I'm glad they have the cool livery, so we still get a little bit of that feeling of, yeah, we know which guy's which, even though you can't tell by the riding style or the gear or anything like that. But it should be pretty fun. Uh, we got a link uh, below if you want to see how to order it. This is on uh, Fight TV at 6.30 Eastern on Thursday night. Let's talk to these guys a bit. Hey, we already won something. Most improved for sure. Well, it wasn't going to be hard to win because yeah. I've never done it. Yeah, you never drove a never, race car of any never kind. Never done it. Never done right. it. So. Were you worried at first? Days. Were you worried at first? When you first did it, were you nervous or anything? It was harder than I thought when I first okay. did it, for All sure. Right. It, was, it was more difficult. Just to, like you watch some of the good guys and they're like, just slide sideways. Yeah, yeah. Are we feeling more confident now? Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. All right, I like it. Dunch, how was it? Well, practice was good here. Um, you look at, you're smiling like big time, <laughs> dude. Yeah, getting back into that competitiveness is fun, but no. You know, we get to we get to jump in four wheels. It's a huge fun opportunity. Get to be in some really good company, and um, gosh, the track was good. Got to, had some good practice today. Made a few changes, but I, I think for tomorrow it'll be solid. I, I feel like that's one of the local guys. I feel like just the fun of being able to do it. Like, okay, maybe it's competitive. Maybe you make a little money, whatever. But just being able to do it is part of the appeal, regardless of a race. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's a huge opportunity, and. I mean, of course, when we go out there, we're all going to want to do good, yeah. but, you know, all good fun. It's, uh, it's awesome. It's, yeah, it's just fun to do it. Yeah. 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 It's oh. pretty cool. I've never been off-road or, or on four wheels on dirt, so yeah. a little bit of a learning experience, but, um, yeah, there's some things that carry over from the two wheels as well that you can apply, but, and, but still pretty different. Were you nervous at all when you strapped in today? Not that it's going to be dangerous, but, like, will I look bad or anything like that? Are you nervous? Were you nervous about not looking good? Because uh, you're new. I tried to focus on just looking good. <laughs> you did? Not, all right. Okay. All right. No, but I, you don't want to look, you don't want to look, uh, I don't know. A lot of this, some of it's new to some people. Yeah. Some people have been in the car, but but regardless of the four wheel experience, yeah. it's, still, it's still tough for me. Right. But you are in, it's tough for me too. Yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah. So when you strapped in, when you're like, oh man, I hope I know what I'm doing. Yeah, the heart, the heart it starts did. racing okay. a little bit. All right. Yeah, yeah, All right. Of course. At least he admits that. Okay. Yeah. Well, I never really raced. Actually, I'll tell you a moment racing Ricky. It was, uh, it was one of my first nationals. Is that Bingham 10? And um, I forget if you were on a Honda, but I'll, I'll never forget. He came around to lap me and I was probably in 20th place or something. And he came into this rut. So I, I, I let him cruise by, he came into this right hand rut and the second he got in the rut, he went wide open. And I'll never forget that moment. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's what I have to do. 
I mean, for me, I, I, I've raced most of these guys up here. I landed on Deegan one time at uh, New Orleans Supercross and the 125 heat race. He was all mad at me and I was out of control. But uh, ended up working out. MC, of course, our battles speak for themselves. Uh, the mutual respect there is certainly at an all-time high and uh, just, just the memories is something that I'll cherish forever and bring with me to the day I'm gone. And then, of course, Chad and our history together. Um, fierce competitors hated each other. We're racing with great friends now. Sit here with a group of guys like this. I mean, I grew up in Australia, you know, and everything was just on video or VCR back in those days, and it was probably three, four months old. The uh, childhood hero was definitely Jeremy and, uh, and even Ricky. It's funny that we ended up crossing paths into that career because once upon a time I had Ricky above my bed in my bedroom. Um, the big, you know, the Oakley, uh, the Oakley ad. It wasn't weird. Like, I don't know why, I just always... I grew up with a cousin, so like, the, the, the best guy when I went pro was actually my cousin. So like, I never really felt like I had to have that like, love-hate relationship with somebody to, to want to kick their ass or something. <laughs> um, I loved my cousin, he was like my big brother. So like, when I came here, it was just, I don't know, Ricky and I had a lot of respect and, and uh, we just kind of like, yeah, the rivalry was good, but it was people, you know, it was like it was my entourage, his entourage, and the media that really made it more fierce than, than what the two of us did. I blame we, Ellie. With Ellie Paul. Yeah. I blame you, J.H. I was going to say, Curly, you were part of it, right? Yeah, yeah. And so it was kind of funny, and uh, but kind of like backing up a little bit, you know, being a childhood, you know, or having a childhood hero and wanting to race them your whole life or wanting to be like them. Uh, pretty funny story. Not funny, I guess, but <laughs> funny now. In Percy, uh, which is a, a supercross track, uh, Super Cross race in, in Paris. Um, it was the first time I got to race Jeremy. And uh, we were battling, I think it was for second. I think Villeman crushed us that weekend, but for whatever reason, uh, we were battling, I think, for second or third. It was for a podium. Maybe I was second, Fortelli was third, uh, second or something like that. Anyway, it was a podium position. And I, I, it was my first year, it was my rookie season on the World Championship racing in Europe, and I had already signed my deal to come to America. And, you know, long story short, like I'm getting to race Supercross with my childhood hero and anyway, I'm like kind of like on him, on him, on him, on him and I think it was last lap and I just dove up the inside and we just collided. He probably has a little different story than I do. <laughs> but my memory is as I dived up the inside, he turned, I didn't know he was going to turn, the turn went left. And uh, anyway, he had, we had a good point at this race. <laughs> We ended up, I, we, we both crashed, I got back up, I still finished second or third, whatever it was, and then uh, after the race, I'm just like, oh, man, I just took out my guy, you know? And, yeah, and I was like, going, what the F? And at, Bercy, doing? and at Bercy, they have, I didn't know what they call them, those bicycle rack things, what are those things? like? Oh, the little cool guards that kind of, like, so in, in France, at the race he's talking about, we have a little pit area, and they guard it off with like they, a little. They guard it off by a, a manufacturer, chain. actually. So yeah. it's like Honda, Suzuki, but Yamaha, like all the fence, you know. Yeah, yeah. And so we're all oh, And yeah, he, was... here he comes, and he's climbing the fence one at a time, <laughs> and the uh, whole paddocks. And I'm like, oh, shit. here comes my guy, and like I absolutely idolize him, and he's like, what the, you know? I'm like, oh. Anyway, long story short, we we fixed it a couple weeks later. Yeah, we're yeah. at the Yamaha track together. Uh, I was on Yamaha Troy, he was on his own team, and uh, anyway, we, we made up, and I felt like my life was back on track. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, it's a pretty funny, famous photo like from that, though, right? Like, yeah. We're both just crashing. And, yeah, it was a heck of a way to start out, but yeah. we got over it. it but for me, I feel really fortunate that I raced most of these guys. You know, like I, I was old enough to race Jeremy and Ricky, and I guess I stayed around long enough to race uh race ryan and um it's funny even like what jeremy said about ricky growing up you know like i was teammates with ryan in, in 2009 and you see the development happening fast and you know and it's it, you see you know you see him so he was so fresh and raw and you, the, you know the mistakes and how they act and you know the the mom the dad and everything like that and it's just it's really fun to watch actually because you see you know you, you've been there you've lived it and everyone tells you, oh yeah, you know, so and so when it happened. But like when you're actually being through it and then you start to see it happen again, um, it's really fun. So uh, yeah, I mean, we've had so many amazing battles. Where do we, where do we start? And I mean, Ricky and I are probably the most, um, one of the, you know, for me personally, it was the funnest rivalry that I've ever had. 
Um, and mainly because there was so much respect, you know, like James and I did the same thing, but James and I, there was just, there was real hate there. <laughs> and, and, I, and I don't mean it like we hated each other, that we just so badly hated losing that it just, it just spiraled out of control. And, uh, but deep down it was, like the respect was there, but just that you couldn't show that. It was, that was the kind of rivalry that we had, so you had to put the tough side on. And, What's funny is uh, my wife on the way here, I, she, she asked me like, hey, did anyone say about anything about your Instagram stuff? And I was like, no, no one really cares. It was all just jokes. It's pretty fun. I think, I, I think that nobody knows enough about how to do this good enough that we can't even call it out. Because who knows what's going to happen.